Jay McCullough reporting live from the sidewalk. Does this count as farging? A combination platter from Hoboken Burrito and a couple of Mexican Cokes? I don't know. It's not just me, they're really squeaking, right? Jay McCullough reporting live from the kitchen. We've got something special from Hoboken Burrito, which I initially used to be Mission Burrito a long, long time ago. Jay Moran uh, introduced me to that uh, back in college. Uh, but this place, those guys jumped around, they were at uh, Park and Sixth for a while, then they were in the back of a bodega. Uh, sorry, that was the Park and Sixth. After it was Park and Sixth, it was a bodega, and they were in the back there. Uh, they eventually settled up on the Heights uh, by Riverview Park and then a lo-fi. Uh, great pizza, by the way. Uh, but Hoboken Burrito, they kind of sold the business as is, and I think it was a Chinese woman. Uh, I can't be sure. Um, but uh, the, the rest of the staff, she, she stands out. She's the only, um, I believe she's the owner slash proprietor. Um, and everyone else that works there is uh, Mexican guys, uh, seemingly. And uh, not the original staff. The original staff is actually, they went to Mission Burrito. Uh, but she got her own crew together and basically kept pumping out the same menu. And I haven't been there in a while. Uh, I did go after the turnover and uh, I think it was more nostalgic because the Mission Burrito guys were still up in the Heights. So I did want to go there. Uh, but they are consistent and they're still in business. Um, and what really sold me is some of their Google reviews. Um, I, was, I always like to look at the Google reviews, even the bad stars, see what they're complaining about. And if you wouldn't agree with what they complain about, then, then maybe that's actually what sells me on the review. And so they, they sold me on this. And a few things came through in the reviews. You gotta be very specific, read the menu literally, and then add your sauces. Uh, because if it said it didn't come with the sauce and you expected it used to come with the sauce, it doesn't come with the sauce anymore. And that's gotta be on you. Emma, two minutes. So. Anyway, I made sure I added all the sauce, and then I said, why don't I just walk in and ask? And it was actually a lot cheaper than the app would have been 23 bucks, and this was about 20. Uh, so this is the combination platter, uh, menu price. Uh, I think I used to pay about 15 bucks for this, and Cynthia, you've had this before. Um, this is gonna be a beef taco. They actually did shredded chicken here, so this is actually interesting. Uh, kudos on me uh, for screwing that up. But we have an enchilada here. Uh, these used to come, I think, in two, two separate platters. Uh, so this is just gonna be the salad and the rice. It's a little skimpy on here. You know, I'm not gonna complain because I don't wanna overindulge. Uh, but I do want to see if this has the familiar flavor. Emma, we're down to two minutes, and then we're done. Uh, and so we're going to bring this out here. Uh, I did add uh, the regular salsa, the pico, uh, the salsa verde, and the sour cream. I want to make sure I get some of that sour cream for the enchilada. Might actually need a knife for this. Um, this is coming in. This is probably pick this up to 50. It is currently so this. This food is um, was delivered to me about 12 minutes ago, and then I was after Cynthia saw me check in. Shout out to Joe Petrillo who came here on stop. What was it 2:22? His wife picked up a takeout. And he said it was uh, uh, just to get one off the bucket list, I guess. Um, she asked me for this as I was already blocks away, uh, passing to Decrepit uh, Hoboken University Medical Center. Uh, again, if they have to bill you, don't pay anything. Uh, she asked me for Coke, and I said, I'm going to have to go to a liquor store and see if Augie's has this, because I'm not going to go back there. It would be interesting. Uh, but what sold me is the way they got, in, they got into it with some of the reviews, and they gave this customer a run for his money and said <laughs> some pretty um, tit for tat back, right back at them. Uh, so we're going to go in here with a Verde. This is the chicken taco. Well, would there be any left for the camera woman? Would she like a bite of this as well? First bite, okay, so we're just gonna try a little bit of this. Excellent. It is fresh, it is good. I'm gonna try their regular salsa. Honestly, not sure what the other salsa is. Mm. Soft, good, juicy. These used to be, or maybe I was smaller. Uh, I feel like used to be a little bit bigger, but it's just a little sizable meal. Cynthia bought these just reusable napkins. You know, wipe anything up, your face, anything. And you show them the dishwasher safe. Only one jalapeno pepper. And look at this, just a little sprinkling, a little sprinkling of the cheese there. I mean, I'm not going to complain because I'm, this is the show of the party. This is what I'm here for, the enchilada as well. Um, also a chicken enchilada. So I really wish I had selected beef because, you know, the, the ground beef on the taco uh, does go quite nicely. But again, that's on me. I'm not going to complain about that in a Google review and have them roast me for not following directions. That is on me. Mm. So some of the new menu items, that tastes exactly as I remember it. Um, there's some name dishes now. There's Bobo, there's Angie. Uh, Angie was the only identifiable, possibly female name in the list of like suggested. I think it was a shredded chicken and cheese quesadilla, which I was leaning towards as well. And I thought this would provide us with a little bit more variety. And kind of review, we haven't reviewed this place, so I did want to go back to the classics, but I think I'll be back for the Angie's uh, uh, quesadilla. Uh, I'm very intrigued by that. Um, could that be the Angie, the proprietor that I know? And, and maybe that's the, the, the person that's responding to these Google reviews. Sassily. Mm. Come to think of it, I've actually never had their chicken taco. It's always been beef. This actually isn't bad. I don't regret this decision at all. 
Um, Coca-Cola had to be the cane sugar. So I wasn't gonna settle for the Kuiper Coast Corn Syrup. And this will be some love for the camera woman. special guest in this kitchen and uh that is not i and I, I did do a private episode of this yesterday when we took delivery of this uh, kudos to sam sam howie um used to be a neighbor uh still a neighbor i guess just a little farther away made homemade pignoli cookies uh for and she does the whole piece of the seven fishes and everything amazing food coming out of that kitchen let me tell you um and we went to the open house. I mean, uh, maybe some of the food came out of this kitchen. Uh, but I think, I mean, definitely doing greater stuff uh, a little bit uptown. Uh, these look outstanding. And what struck me here is not only they were delightfully in size, and she kind of padded the recipe with uh, the recipe, a little, little box, with some Trader Joe meringues. Uh, and I thank you to Dana McCole again for these uh, these ginger snaps. Not homemade, and, and these were not, so this is the non-homemade bag. But these spignolis, as I understand, are homemade. And now that Giorgio's is gone and uh, ch charging on it, I want to know how much rent for that. We've got pignolis on the bottom, which is a very, it's a rarity in the pignoli cookie business, uh, the pignoles, as you call them. So we've got, it's just fully encrusted with canola, with, sorry, with pignoles. And um, I'm just going to cut into this. Uh, we had this with Emma yesterday, and she enjoyed it, but she actually preferred the meringue. And you can just see there, the, the I believe it's almond flour, just excellent texture, so chewy. Did I shave for this episode? No, but thank you. Mm. I've been putting off shaving, but now that I bought a new can of shaving cream, I'm like, why not? I do it every day if I want to. Um, but we were rationing. We were rationing for something. This is nothing wrong with this canola, this pignoli. Nothing wrong with this pignoli cookie. There you have it. Thank you, Sam. Um, I will treasure these. Always. I was just, it, just an absolute delight. An absolute delight to have these. All right, Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy New Year, and uh, enjoy the week. Bye-bye.